so far away land, a small beach town hugged the Jersey coast. Small children bounced through the water, and old retired couples walked hand in hand along the shore, and an orange twenty-something lay face down on the boardwalk. As tourists walked around the slow-breathing creature, Joe and Doug, two Jersey police officers, hovered over the body. Do you think it's alive? Yeah, can't you see? It's breathing. All of a sudden, oh. the orange gremlin sluggishly picked up her body and groaned. Her jet black hair was tangled and the puff on top of her head had deflated. Let's just leave her. It's Snooky from the Jersey Shore. Those Jersey Shore scumbags are making a bad name for the rest of us. I wish they would just leave. Do you think we could arrest her for, you know, public intoxication? You know what? You're right. I think we can. Let's take her in. The two men grabbed Snooky's arm and placed it behind her back. They both recited. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights that I have just read to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Snooky looked up with glazed over eyes and nodded her head. As the two men were talking, were taking her towards the car, a tall, very tan, brunette woman, Jay Wow, and a very short, pop-eyed looking man, Mike the Situation, ran towards the police officers. Snooky, 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 we have been looking for you all morning. We thought you left with Gianni, and when we came into the smush room to try and find you, you weren't there. Officer, why is she being arrested? What did she do? Ma'am, please calm down. Miss Snooky is being arrested for public intoxication. We are taking her down to the station. You can call her at two today and see what's going on. Snooky looked towards Mike and Jay Wow with big mascara smudged eyes. Snooky, don't say anything. We'll have you out in no time. Just don't say anything. The two men pushed Snooky into the car and drove away. Mike and Jay Wow headed to the t-shirt shop to get the others. Polly, Vinny, Ronnie, Dina, and Sammy were sitting at the counter. Hey guys, so a Snooky got arrested. We need to go get her before she says something that might get her into even more trouble. You guys all know she doesn't have a filter. What? My meatball is in jail? Dina, chill out. Everybody, get your stuff together. We are busting Snooky out of jail. But before we do this, we gotta do something. It's t-shirt time! The whole crew grabbed the plain pink t-shirts and spelled out the letters, Free Snooky. They each took the t-shirts and headed towards the Escalade. When they got to the police station, the afternoon releases sat along the curb, heels in one hand, cigarette in another. As the crew walked into the station, the stench of alcohol and pee flooded their noses. It must have been a rough night for everyone at the shore. They could see Snooky sitting on the ground with, in an unidentifiable liquid behind rusted bars. A large white chair sat behind a desk filling out paperwork. Hey bro, so we need to get our homie out of the slammer. Can you hook a brother up? Oh, the Jersey Shore crew is trying to bust out their little disease ring gremlin. Well, unfortunately for you, the only way you can get this little rodent out of jail is by paying the bail. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll pay. How much? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. One billion dollars. Man, what are you saying? One billion dollars? Are you for real, man? That's about as messed up as Ron Ron juice. Isn't that... Like, against some kind of human code? Like, you know, what's the document called? You know, one of those old dudes wrote like 8 billion years ago? You know the document that makes rules? Oh! 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 I know! The Bible! Dina, you idiot! It's the Constitution! Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Isn't there like some rule that says you can't do that? You know, keep our little meatball in there for one million dollar bail? Yo, you need to listen to me, you hot mess. Get my friend out of here. Sir, you need to leave before you and the rest of your gang get put into custody with the Gremlin. The crew left the station and went back to the house. Snooky sat on the ground of her cell crying as she came down from her night of partying and began to enter the real world.
Pelosi, Nicole. Yeah? Well, ma'am, you won't be able to go before a judge considering you lack a natural skin pigment. With that, the guard turned on his foot and walked towards the desk. Snooky began to sob uncontrollably. But I didn't commit a murder. I was just a little drunk. Why do you hate me? Back at the house, the crew began to create a mob that would go down and protest for Snooky's freedom. The room was a cloud of sparkles and hairspray as people made free Snooky signs and styled their hair. As they began to settle down, the front door rattled with a knock to follow. Jay Wow got up to answer. When she opened the door, it was one of the police officers that arrested Snooky earlier that morning. Ma'am, we need to come in and investigate the premises. Um, do you have a warrant? Probable cause? Anything? Well, no. But we just have a feeling that you have people in here that we saw fist pumping the other day. And as you know, that has been made illegal. And since lawbreakers do other illegal things, we are going to need to investigate. Oh, honey boo boo child. If you ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. And as for that whole fist pumping thing, I call BS. You can't just go door to door arresting people who are fist pumping at the club a week ago. Do you know anything? With that, the police officer walked away and got into the car. Back at the station, Snooky stood up and began her will. She was going to give her bronzer to JWoww, her quick slim shakes to Mike, and Dina could have her bras. The guard walked up to herself. Well, we worked it out with the courts. You have a court date set for March 20th, 3059. What? That? I can't even do the math. I thought I was entitled to a fair and speedy trial as evidenced by that Bible Constitution thingy. The guard walked away. Yo, homeboy, stop walking away. I want answers. The guard didn't turn around. Outside of the police station on the boardwalk, the protesters were picketing for Snooky's freedom. Free Snooky! A man walked by and asked what happened. They explained, and immediately after, the man rushed to the police station. Excuse me, my name is Aaron. I'm a commissioner. Do you not realize you have violated this woman's constitutional rights? Ma'am, we will set up a trial tomorrow and get this all sorted out. Aaron went out and explained to the protesters what had just happened. The crowd erupted. Woo! Yay! When they got to the police station, the afternoon releases sat along the curb, heels in one hand, cigarette in another. As the crew walked into the station, the stench of alcohol and pee flooded their noses. It must have been a rough night for everyone at the shore. They could see Snooky on the ground in an unidentified liquid behind rusted bars. A large white sheriff sat behind a desk, filling out paperwork. Hey bro, so we need to get a homie out of the slammer. Can you hook a brother up? Oh, the Jersey Shore crew, trying to bust out their little disease-ridden gremlin. Well, unfortunately for you, the only way you can get this little rodent out of jail is by paying the bail. The following okay. day, Snooky went to trial before a jury of 12. Before they began, the judge asked if Snooky had anything to say. No, I plead the, the, I plead the fifth. I mean the sixth. No, wait, the fifth. Okay, well, we cannot proceed as the arresting officer did not perform a field sobriety test when arresting you, nor did they document anything related to the arrest. We do not have a sufficient evidence to keep you. You are free to go. Are you serious? Oh my gosh! Snooky and the crew leapt for joy. As they walked out of the courtroom, Snooky yelled, Oh yeah, I was totally wasted when they arrested me. I wouldn't be surprised if my BAC was a point three. Double jeopardy, baby.